Hey, I'm Laurie from Tamp Group. Today we're going to talk about the puck press and how sometimes it doesn't activate every time that you put the handle in, which is a sensor issue on the unit. So the tools we need um, to do this is just a um, Phillips head screwdriver with a long neck and just a 3mm three mil, three mil Allen key. So I'll just show you what's happening with this, this unit. As you can see here, this sensor here is um, a fair way in. So this sensor in under here inside that circle is the is the metal sensor. So it's a it's a sensor that as soon as it detects metal, it brings it activates the unit and brings the puck down. So just for argument's sake, I'll show you this is just an Allen a metal Allen key. If I just hit that sensor, it brings the puck down. So when I put the handle in it's not completing the circuit because the sensor is too far back. So this sensor is meant to be flush with this, this metal here, so we need to bring it forward. Um, we can easily bring it forward maybe just by tilting the unit, unit forward a little bit and giving it a bit of a shake. Sometimes we'll bring it forward, but what we need to do is lock that into place once we've got it forward. We're going to open it up, bring it forward, and then lock it into place so that they don't have this issue again. So the first step is to pull the, to pull the top off the unit, like so. So we want to pull this complete, complete cover off. So we need to, uh, a Phillips head screwdriver um, with a long head to get to those screws and undo them. So before we undo these screws, we just want to unplug the unit, switch her off. So just make sure you've got quite a long arm on your screwdriver. Um, so just undoing these screws. So now this whole front cover should just pop off like so. Um, and you can just leave the screws screws in there, make sure you don't, don't lose them. So now I've got the cover off, what I'm going to do is there's a little um, Allen key screw right at the back here that actually holds the, the sensor in um, and holds it nice and tight so that it doesn't move. So the first thing I'm going to do is loosen that so that I can move the sensor backwards and forwards. And then I'm going to get the sensor into place make sure it's nice and flush at the front here. And then I'm going to tighten it up nice and tight so that it holds the sensor in place. So the hole itself is right at the back here and it's really hard to see. So we're gonna try and get the camera, camera in for you to see. Um, and I'm gonna drop this Allen key in so that, so that you can see where that hole is. So it's a hole in the bottom grill of the plastic and it's not the raised one. So this raised one here is raised up above the grill, but it's flush flush with the grill. It's just right there. I'm just loosening, loosening that Allen key. And once I've loosened a little bit, I can then, there's a sensor, you'll see the sensor at the back here attached to a wire. So I can then bring that forward and back with my finger. So that gray cord um, there that's attached to the back of the sensor you can just pull that gently um, back or forwards with your finger to get the sensor into place. So with my finger, I'm, I've just brought the sensor forward and then with my other finger, um, I want to just make sure that it's nice and flush with the front of this curved section. I want to bring it forward enough so that the sensor always recognizes the handle. So it's now resting in place and we just want to be careful not to bump it so that it doesn't move out of place. And now I just want to go back into that same Allen key, that same hole at the back here, and tighten, tighten it up. And now, now it's tightened. Um, if I put my finger on that sensor, it's not moving back. So I know that it's nice and tight in there. So we're going to plug it in and just quickly test it. But normally you wouldn't plug it in while you've got the cover off, um, just for your own safety. But I'm just going to plug it in. So once it's on, just going to put my handle in. And you can see that straight away activates the sensor and it comes down. Um, so then we just put it back together, put our cover on, remembering to screw up those three screws and clip the cover on the top. Plug it in and away we go with our cover on the top. <laughs> so the other thing that could be um, stopping the, the handle from recognising and activating the unit is you might have a dirty dirty sensor um, so you just want to make sure that that's always kept clean and you give it a wipe with a dry rag at the end of each, each day.